So now we have an algebraic fraction example. Before we start it, let's have a look at a numerical example. Let's try three quarters plus five sevenths. How would we do that? Four, seven, smallest number that divides into, they both divide into, is 28. We would multiply the left hand fraction, top and bottom, by seven and the right hand fraction top and bottom by 4. 4 times 7, 4 times 5. Now the reason we're doing that uh, is because there's 21 28ths plus 20 28ths because they're both 28ths which means I can now add them I, if I've got the same denominator they're both 28ths, there's 21 of them plus 20 of them, that's 41 28ths. Uh, and I've got a single fraction. So that's my aim here, that if I take this fraction with the denominator x minus 2, this fraction with the denominator x plus 1, I want to produce the same denominator just like I did over here. I think what we can do is multiply the bottom and top of this fraction by x plus 1. So both top and bottom get multiplied by x plus 1. And you can see that if we take the right hand fraction and multiply top and bottom by x minus 2, so 5 times x minus 2, then the bottom of these fractions is identical. We've got x minus 2 times x plus 1. And therefore we can take the top line, 3 lots of x plus 1, plus 5 lots of x minus 2. So it looks complicated, but it's exactly what we've done over here. Get the denominators the same, and then we're able to add the numerators, the top numbers together. So that's what we've done here. So just a case of simplifying the top expression. There's the, numer the denominator down there. Bottom number is that. So 3 lots of x plus 1, 3x plus 3. 5 lots of x minus 2 is 5 lots of x minus 5 lots of 2. That's minus 10. And 3x plus 5x is 8x. 3 minus 10 is minus 7. So we've produced a single fraction in its simplest form. And there's no further cancelling can be done top and bottom. So that's our final answer.